Hello my friends, today we are going to talk about the NADAS criteria. NADAS criteria is a criteria which is used in the pediatric population to screen children for the presence of heart disease. Now, the, the issue with the heart uh, disease is that sometimes it can be very difficult to diagnose them. So the NADAS criteria is basically a screening criteria which helps the pediatrician uh, to filter out those kids who might have the possibility of an underlying uh, heart problem, which might be a congenital or might be an acquired one. So let's talk about the NADAS criteria. Now, NADAS criteria is basically divided into two uh, criteria. One is the major criteria and the other is the minor criteria. Now the major criteria includes four things. The first is the presence of a systolic murmur, which is grade three or more. So a child who has got a systolic murmur, it could either be a pan systolic murmur or an ejection systolic murmur. So if it is grade three or above, you know that the murmurs are graded from one to six, where one is barely audible, while six is a murmur which can be heard even without a stethoscope. So a grade three, which is a moderately audible murmur, but without a thrill. So if that is present or more than that, grade four, which is a murmur with a thrill and above, so if that is present, that is one of the major criteria of uh, NADA. Now, then the second thing is diastolic, any diastolic murmur, irrespective of its uh, intensity, whether it's uh, grade one by six or whether it's six by six, a diastolic murmur is always pathologic. So a diastolic murmur, if present, it would satisfy the major criteria for uh, NADA screening tool for the presence of heart disease. Central cyanosis. Any kid who has got central cyanosis fulfills the major criteria for uh, NADA screening tool. And the presence of congenital heart, uh, sorry, the presence of congestive heart failure, which means a child who might be having tachycardia, tachypnea, and tender hepatomegaly or peripheral edema, if that is present, that also satisfies one of the major uh, criteria for NADA. So if any one of these uh, four things are present, then it means that the child has got a possibility of having an underlying um, heart problem. If the major are not present, then we look for the minor criteria. Now the minor criteria again are number one, systolic murmur. So any systolic murmur which is less than grade three, so grade two intensity. Number two is any child who has got an abnormal second heart sound. So abnormal ha second heart sound means it might be a muffled second heart sound. It might be a very loud uh, second heart sound. It might be a uh, or wide uh, fixed and split second heart sound. It might be a single heart sound. So any abnormality of the second heart sound is one of the minor criteria for NADAS. Then a child who's got an abnormal ECG. Abnormal ECG means a child who's got an SVT, a child who's got a prolonged QT interval, who has got a depressed ST uh, segment. Any type of, of abnormality that you find on ECG would also be one of the minor criteria for NADAS. Then the fourth is abnormal chest X-ray. A child who's got cardiomegaly, or plethoric lung fields or oligemic lung fields, any form of abnormality on the chest X-ray would also satisfy one of the minor criteria for NADA. And abnormal blood pressure, which might be abnormally low or abnormally high blood pressure, that also is one of the minor criteria for NADA. So any two, any two of these minor ones, that might be a systolic murmur or a plus an abnormal heart sound, second heart sound, or might be an abnormal ECG with an abnormal chest X-ray. So any two of the minor criteria also means that the NIDA criteria for screening of a heart problem is positive. So one major or two minor criteria suggest the presence of heart disease. It doesn't tell you which underlying heart problem is there or whether it's a congenital problem or whether it's a quiet problem, but it simply tells you that there is a possibility. Again, we use the word possibility. It might turn out to be something else, but there is always a very high possibility of an underlying heart problem. So whenever we are suspecting a heart problem, we apply the NIDAS criteria. And if the NIDAS criteria is positive, that is one major, two or more minor, then we have to further work up these kids for the presence of underlying heart problem. So I hope you have understood this uh, NADAS criteria, which is a very useful screening tool for the presence of a uh, heart problem in the pediatric age group. Um, and um, I hope you can apply it in your practice uh, to screen out kids who might have the possibility of underlying heart problem. And um, this was a short video. If you like my videos, please do subscribe and press the bell notification icon. So when I have, whenever I upload a new video, you are always on board with me. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.